Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Casseroles, they're hearty, nutritious, and delicious. They're easy to make, and you can make them with all sorts of things. And most of all, they're cheap to make. You can make a meal for your whole family for $10 or less. That's right, a real meal for your family for $10 or less that's hearty, nutritious, and delicious. Like this Mexican-style chicken and rice casserole. Like this Italian-style beef and noodle casserole. This redneck casserole? Well, most of the casseroles are nutritious, but it's still hearty and delicious. And you can even have a casserole for breakfast, like this big country breakfast casserole. And a big country breakfast casserole isn't the same without sriracha sauce. And here's another budget casserole you can make for under $10. No peak chicken and rice casserole. And I know it doesn't look like much and it's not very pretty, but I mean to tell you, this is one of the easiest recipes you'll ever put together. You can have this recipe put together and into the oven in literally five minutes or less. And here's how to do it. In a nine by 13 casserole dish, add two cans of cream soup. You can use any kind of cream soup you like. Cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of celery, or cream of cream, I don't know, add what you like. Any of them will work. But I thought I'd kick it up a notch and use a can of cream of mushroom soup with roasted garlic and cream of chicken with herbs. I had never seen these two kinds of cream soup before, so I figured I'd give them a try. Once the cans are empty, fill them up with water, give the water a good mix to get the residual soup out, and then pour them into the casserole dish. Then add one pack of Lipton onion soup mix. I know what you're thinking. Between the two cans of soup and the soup mix, that's a whole lot of sodium, and you're right. But when you break it down to four to six servings, it's not that bad. With a whisk, give it all a really good mix. And make sure you get all the clumps of the condensed soup broken up. Next, add two cups of rice, not instant rice, regular long grain rice. If you want to use brown rice instead, that'll work, but the amount of water will need to be changed accordingly. Give it all a good mix to get everything well combined. Now it's time to add the chicken. And you can add whole pieces of chicken, boneless skinless chicken breast or thighs, or even bone-in pork chops or boneless pork. Then it would be called no peak pork. But today I'm using boneless skinless chicken thighs. They have a good amount of fat, which equals flavor and moisture. Push the chicken down into the mixer to ensure it's covered. Then tightly cover the casserole dish with aluminum foil. Now it goes into a preheated 350 degree oven for two hours. And don't peek, which is the hardest part when the aroma fills your house. But after waiting two hours, you get the wreath rewards of patiently waiting. And it's definitely not the most appetizing looking dish. But the simplicity, flavor, and heartiness of this casserole makes up for it. If you wanted to add some color to the top, pop it under the broiler for a minute or two. But I couldn't wait any longer. I had to dig in right away. And if you wanted to add some vegetables, you could, but I wouldn't add them in the beginning, or they're gonna simply turn to mush. I'd add them at the halfway point. But then if you do that, it's no longer no peak chicken because you got a peak to add the vegetables. I thought the rice might turn out mushy, but it wasn't. It was perfectly cooked. I've seen other no peak chicken recipes that use instant rice, and I can't imagine that turning out not mushy. The chicken thighs turned out very moist and tender. As you can see, it's really fork tender. I would have thought this would have enough salt or even be a little bit too salty with the condensed soup and soup mix, but I actually needed to add salt and pepper. Next time I make this, I'd add pepper in the beginning, but I'd wait to add salt at the table. You can always add more if you need to, but you can't take it out. Overall, this no peak chicken casserole is not the prettiest dish, but it's very delicious. And like I said in the beginning, it's one of the easiest recipes you'll ever make. And I would definitely recommend you giving it a try. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year, or you can pledge more. That's up to you. Either way, Every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.